The former government minister's comments follow a decision by the Keith Mitchell-led government to rename the area, once known as the Botanical Gardens, to the Sir Eric Matthew Gary Botanical Gardens. Mrs. St. Louis says this is not a fitting way to show respect to Grenada's first prime minister. A bill approving the change of name was recently passed by both houses of parliament. Once enacted, the Botanical Gardens will bear the name of Grenada's father of independence. Speaking in his personal capacity, Finsley St. Louis says his first concern is that the location, now home to the ministerial complex, is no longer a botanical garden. Now to tell me that we are going to name the Botanical Gardens after Mr. Gary, it's not a botanical gardens we have. If we want to do something, we can probably say, you're going to name it, you're going to name the ministerial complex after Mr. Gary. But to say it's a botanical gardens, we don't have it. All the other islands have their botanical gardens. St. Vincent has a botanical gardens that is nicely kept. And it is a tourist attraction. Here you cannot say that the botanical gardens that we have now, or what we have there, is a tourist attraction in any way. Mrs. St. Louis says he welcomes the possibility of renaming the Morris Bishop Highway after Grenada's first prime minister. He says not only should the Morris Bishop Highway be renamed after the former Grenadian leader, he recommends the erecting of a statue of Sir Eric at the True Blue Roundabout. The True Blue Roundabout opens the entrance to the School of Medicine. The School of Medicine is, was brought in here by Gary. Today it, con it, it controls perhaps 25% I'm told of the GDP of Grenada today. So I think to put the, to name the highway by Eric Gary and to put a statue up by the Trouble Roundabout would in fact be perhaps the best gift we could give to Gary at this time. During last Friday's sitting at the Upper House, Senator Brenda Hood said plans are underway to erect a monument in the gardens before independence celebrations next year. Andre Jerome for GBN News.